Well, my earliest memories, uh, perhaps I should say, was uh, when I was two years old. You know, very well remember picking up small sticks. Um, it could be anything that was round, cylindrical in shape. And uh, I would assume that it was the flute. Well, my father, uh, Subramaniam, uh, was actually a, a professor of biochemistry. So he was my uh, uh, basic guru. And then, of course, you know, my advanced training began around when I was three, when I was taught uh, music very intensely, uh, almost like a language. And I would, to, to date, I would say that, uh, that uh, the music has always been my uh, best spoken language. Uh, you know, we discovered that um, he had great affinity for music. I started playing the violin because my father thought, uh, apart from vocal music, that I had to have an instrument. So it was uh, a total obsession on my part to use all the time of the day to infuse knowledge into him. And about uh, two and a half, he had mastered all the 72 parent scales of uh, our system. No confusion. And that by when he was about three year old, the Karnataka Sangeetha Dritya Academy, they appointed a high level committee to examine whether this is a made up talent or is a real uh, a prodigal uh, stuff. And one fine day, I still remember that afternoon when I just took the flute and I could produce a sound by blowing into it. And that was when I decided that I had to play flute and I was no more interested in playing the violin. But I think, you see, as a child, I was, I was not really uh, aware of the kind of magnitude of all this. I was more enjoying it and it just happened all of a sudden. Uh, one fine day, my father uh, happened to find out that uh, the legend, the flute legend T.R. Mahalingam was uh, residing at Bangalore for a few months. And he took me to him, uh, uh, you know, just to get some guidance from him. And over the next uh, 15 days then, back in, uh, I, I think when I was five plus, uh, T.R. Mahalingam, the legend, you know, heard me play different things and on one fine day he gave me another flute and say okay now you play uh, what I'm going to play now and then so I repeated after him and after all this there was uh, uh, you know some set of advices that were given to my dad first thing uh, was you know asking him to stop um, playing the flute first at home and then secondly he didn't want uh, my dad to take me to any of the flute concerts of any contemporary great musicians T.R. Mahalingam uh, insisted that I be shifted to Chennai and be put under uh, training, vocal training to, you know, acquire music. All the time, no spare time. Any spare time, it was music. And my father quite uh, religiously followed that and uh, uh, it was so helpful, uh, you know, from the point of view that uh, I developed my own style 
uh, reproducing, uh, uh, not rather reproducing uh, other flute players who were, who were there and who are there right now. But I would think, you know, my own talent and all that was okay. But it was my dad uh, and my gurus who contributed immensely and worked so tirelessly. And so that was what, you know, that's how my life kind of progressed, my st student life. <laughs>